Hey guys, what's up? I am currently in Stanford um, doing a camp called Super Camp. I'm a team leader for about three, no, I'm here for four, about four or five camps. So I'm here um, in Stanford. God, this campus is just absolutely crazy, but I love being here. This is basically kind of like my second home. So it's always been gr great coming back. And this view here, right here, this is basically my room for where I'm staying. But do you hear this? Huh. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I don't even know. It's like my shoes always make the squeaky noise every time I walk back and forth. So it's like. You can hear it. It's, it's kind of obnoxious a little bit, but yeah, I'm here in let's say, this Super Camp. I'm really excited to be here. Um, Super Camp has been a huge part of my life. It's been. I've been coming back six years at this point. This is my sixth year working with the company. And I was a camper for three years. So there was like half of the time I was related to Super Camp, I was actually a camper. And then now I'm a staff member, which is the coolest thing ever. So I'm getting to work here. Uh, the biggest thing that I really took out of just working here is basically tr being my best self. Because here I'm always comfortable. I've been in the same building for six years being my best self, being able to, you know, change other people's lives and just make it, you know, a fun experience for the campers coming in and the other staff members take photos of them because, you know, that's what I do. So, yeah, I'm here. Um, today I really wanted to discuss a little bit about pursuing what you love doing. So, like, that's a huge thing that's been going on a lot in my mind as I'm trying to look for jobs and stuff like that outside of camp. So being able to you know talk about that and maybe discuss a little bit, I would love to know what you guys think. But just you know a little bit on just doing what you love and getting to that point. So for first, uh, I'll show you guys around of this fantastic building. Even though there's no AC, it gets hot. But being able to show you this absolutely kind of incredible building because this building is actually really well cool, well designed. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's really well designed, it looks really cool, and yeah, let's, I'm going to show you guys around and I'm going to start you with a little quick room tour of what's going on in my room. Uh, right now I'm currently in the hallway. They're doing some sort of leaf blowing right outside right now or like cleaning up of the dorms so this is actually the dorms hold on let me turn around so this is what the campers usually sleep in they sleep in around these um these beds and stuff like that they get a desk and stuff like that these rooms are quite nice too like there's some pretty nice views the stanford campus you can see you can see hoover tower from here so that's really cool um, but this is actually a, an incredible building. But all this, like a lot of rooms here, over here. So if you actually go in, this. Okay. We're in the lounge, top lounge area. And if you go turn around, you can actually see the main room. That's where we'll be. That's where we will have the opening ceremony and stuff like that. We already prepped for the next camp, but this is why I think Toyon Hall is so cool. Is because we have buildings, a building like this. Being able to use all this space, you know, it's absolutely incredible. And then up here, it's kind of a cool lounge area, which is super fun. Yeah, um, I think it's super cool. And yeah, you know, like honestly, one of the coolest places to be. Honestly, so really super stoked about it. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go actually go leave the toy on, so uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me, I guess. Yeah, so one of the things I really like wanted to talk about was basically, you know putting yourself out there and doing things that you really absolutely love because life is not that long. Honestly, I've 
I've, I have a lot of family and friends, you know, like who keep telling me, you know, do the things that you really want to do. Do things that make you motivate you to, you know, be the best version of yourself. And especially here in camp, like, you know, that's one of the things I always like thinking about is, you know, how everything you do should serve a purpose. It serve a purpose of, you know, being the best version of yourself or doing something you absolutely love because it's, we spend like four, 40 years plus or something like that working and if you're working and you're doing something you don't really like it's kind of throws the point out you know like why would you keep working even though it gives you money but like you're not doing something you absolutely love so one of the things I like to tell people is start with something that you like doing even if it doesn't pay much start doing something you love because in the end, it will work out and it will basically help you out a lot in the long run. Yeah, because they ruined it. Please pause. The picture that you took of me was not pretty. They were good. You know it was good. Thank you for tagging me on that. Oh, that's ugly. And then they deleted it. And we all looked so good. Don't look at me. Fruit water is always great. I don't know what it is recently, but fruit water is actually really good and I've been craving a lot of fruit water. This one has like strawberries in it, so, so good. Okay, so going back on to the idea of that you should follow your dreams. I completely 100% agree with that. Do the things that make you happy, whether you know it's making films, taking photos, or you know just achieving those goals. Everyone has a goal you know, at some point in their life, and one of the things that we often overlook is actually going through with those, those goals because those goals seem so far out. They seem so difficult to achieve. Yeah, but I mean, that's what goals and dreams are. They are not gonna be easy to get there, but the amount of effort, the amount of work that you have to put through into your craft, into anything, makes it difficult to reach, but that's the way it, it works. It's not impossible. For me, I love making videos. I love taking photos. It's kind of what I love doing. It's my passion. I have a passion for it. But one of the things that is really difficult for me sometimes is like, no one's really seeing my work outside of my friend groups. And I have a little bit of people like supporting me on the side through like Instagram and social media and kind of stuff like that. But it is crucial to be able to you know push past that push back that fear that oh no one's going to be watching looking at my stuff watching my stuff because hey there's p millions of other vloggers youtubers filmmakers and photographers out there that are better than me of course there are that's the way the world works if you're the best person at something then there's just no point in getting better at it right so for me i just keep on making films i keep on you know creating content that's what i try to do i keep on trying to create that way i can get more of a portfolio and be able to you know, showcase my work honestly just keep on working towards what you want to do and sooner or later you will start seeing results because that's honestly how it works if you put the time in the results will show I hope you guys um, found this insightful. You guys get to see a little bit of where I'm currently working at. Um, so if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please press like. It really does help. And if you haven't subscribed, just click the subscribe button below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.